So uh, we can help you get there uh, for sure. And you can start here, but it, you're going to need somebody on your side uh, to start here. Uh, so, you know, you want to target chefs that prioritize fresh, unique ingredients, uh, provide specialized microgreens such as amaranth, basils, pea shoots, along with custom blends. Uh, a lot of them have been doing custom blends and you name it that restaurant. That's a great way to go. Now you got a custom blend with the restaurant name and now you're both supporting local. It, it is awesome. Uh, but you have to be consistent in your quality with them. You have to be consistent with your delivery. You can't miss. They need to have that product. It's on their menu. Uh, so if you're brand new and you haven't grown a tray yet, don't start trying to sell something to a restaurant without first knowing if you can grow it. Uh, they can invent the visual appeal and the flavor profile. Of these dishes are amazing. As you can see with this photo here, that looks great. Uh, that's some cabbage and broccoli and kale on there. So awesome. Uh, so when you're going up after restaurants, you're going to want to build a relationship with the chefs. So this is key. Don't try to build relationships with the person at the front counter, uh, the, the hostess or anything like that. You want to build a relationship with the chefs. You got to get into the chefs. Emphasize the value and establish relationships with the chefs that are passionate about high quality ingredients. Not every chef's going to be perfect for you. Regularly check in with chef clients about menu changes and seasonal needs. You got to be ahead of them. Uh, you got to know what seasons are coming up. We talk about that in our group. Um, that it's holiday season coming up, so you got to be ahead of that, you know. And you got to have know that you got the products that they're going to want uh, for that seasonal change. And then they'll change again after the first of the year. Then they'll change again in the spring. They'll change again in the summer. So you got to be ahead of them and know what they're going to want. Have them conversations with them. Easiest way to do it. But that's when you're building the relationships. So unique offering custom blends we just talked about. Offer my greens that are not readily available anywhere else. Check who's not what they're growing. If you're growing for chefs, what who's not who what are they not growing in that area? If you got other my green growers or the big distributors or whatever else, what are they not growing? Learn that, grow that. Uh, that's going to be great. Like Red Garn Amaranth. Amaranth is amazing. Shishu. Uh, these products stand out because uh, not a lot of people grow them because they're hard to grow. Uh, we can help you grow them. Create custom blends that are tailored to them, like we talked about. A spicy mix if they're a taco place. Uh, you can do like uh, cilantro, radishes, uh, cabbage in there, something like that. Get some color, get some spice, uh, get some flavor in it. Uh, Many different combinations you can come up with. Just make it colorful and taste good. All right. Consistent and quality. We just talked about this a little bit. High-end restaurants need consistent quality products uh, and rather over deliveries. If you say you're going to deliver on Tuesday, you say you're going to deliver on Friday, deliver on that day. Uh, don't miss it. And make sure you have the product. That means you might need to grow extra stuff that you normally aren't going to be growing. You might need to grow three trays instead of two trays. Uh, just so you make sure you have the product when you first start in these because you want to make sure you have it an extra tray doesn't cost that much to grow we want to make sure you have the product that you can deliver to a customer especially stuffs you miss they're going to not use you again so make sure you deliver all the time uh uniform microgreens with each or, or each order provide samples ahead of time obviously go in with samples new varieties always come in with new stuff to the chefs they love new stuff even if you're in there Make sure you're coming in new shit, new stuff and offering it to them first and say, you're the only one who's going to get this, whatever. Uh, you always want to be in there with new stuff because chefs love new stuff. They like to play. Presentation and shelf life. These are important. You highlight, you got to highlight the attention to the package. Uh, package has got to look good too. And it maintains freshness because you got to have that good quality package that's going to last in their cooler. Uh, so it stays fresh and visually appealing and stuff. They don't want mushy microgreens on their products on a busy Friday night. That'd be bad. Uh, chefs want value, high presentation. You know, their standards are high, so you got to meet their standards. Uh, you can use eco-friendly packaging if they're curious about that, but make sure it's premium eco-friendly eco -friendly packages. Uh, that's going to reflect the pro your product value as well and your product uh, freshness, so make sure you have that. All right, so that's kind of chefs and restaurants. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if I haven't mentioned it before, if you don't know, I do have a coaching program that me and my wife actually coach it together. Uh, it's over at school.com slash microgreens. I'd be honored if you go just check it out even, uh, look about the bat page and everything else, uh, and maybe we can help you out if you ever do need coaching or if you just want to further your business at all. We would be honored to be your coaches. Uh, and right now we are doing a seven-day free pass. You can look around for seven days. Get everything in there, all for seven days for free, uh, with no obligations at all. You can cancel in that seven days and you pay nothing. 
uh, but we would love you to go over there and check it out. It is at school.com slash microgreens.